Beardo Benjo. Hello there everyone, and welcome to Against. Now this is the newest VR game from Joyway. You might know Joyway from Stride, or from the upcoming Outlier. They've worked on quite a few VR games, and they're always to a pretty high quality. Now, this game, Against, is Joyway's take on something like Pistol Whip. It's an endless runner with combat action elements. You need to progress to the end of a stage whilst punching, shooting, slicing and dodging enemies, all in time to the music. And the music is a little bit like what we're hearing right now. It's very, very similar to Pistol Whip. It's almost impossible to ignore or not make that comparison. Now I'm going to play through a couple of levels today. I won't play through them all because I don't want to spoil the game. The game's out on the 16th of December and it's coming to PC VR. I don't know if it's going to come to the Quest natively. Hopefully it will. I'll be playing today with Quest and Air Link. Let's jump into normal and I'll go straight into the city level and I'll show you what this game is all about. And this is the game itself. Now I think it's pretty damn gorgeous. Look at the shine on the sword there. Oh! And you have to chop people and dodge things in time to the music. So very much like Pistol Whip and Beat Saber. <laughs> so cool. Hey, hey, hey. Now I will stop talking in just a moment to let you enjoy the music. But this ooh, is effectively how the game plays out. Oh, here we go. Very cool. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Now the enemies with the guns up top, you need to swing your sword in the direction it says that they're going to shoot basically. So like that, you're deflecting bullets. They're probably the hardest enemies to stop. Because it's really easy to miss their prompt. Oh. Ooh. Whoa! Jesus! And these snakes as well. <laughs> now I'm just playing on normal at the moment. You can play on a hard, and it is far more intense. Oh, I nearly screwed that up. Come now. Now this game did start off with a completely different art style. You might have seen it. It looked like a noir thriller. Everything was black and white. I think this more cinematic change is so beneficial. Bosh! Chop, 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 chop! What do you want, mate? Oh! Oh, I missed him. Oh, I like. And I take that. Oh! Whoa! Ah! Stay back, Dr. Octopus. You big shit. Oh, look at the shot. Honestly, the shine on the guns is so nice. Such a weird little thing for me to be so fascinated about. Ah! Oh, he's back. Get off that roof. And that is against. I really like it. <laughs> I think it's quite a shameless uh copy let's say of pistol whip but I, I, I don't know that sounds bad when i say it but i don't mean that in a bad way it's doing a lot of things that pistol whip doesn't do the wall running the way you can the way you have to move around and the way you have to react to the enemy's attacks is very different to pistol whip and in this game i've found so far that's not a bad score uh, i found so far that you don't have to particularly pay too much attention to the direction in which you chop the enemies you can chop them in the wrong way you just don't get as many points. Um, let's do another level. Now, I think kind of imitation is <laughs> the highest form of flattery. I think I'm paraphrasing there. Um, but Pistol Whip's a very good game, and I think it was only inevitable that someone would come along and do something very similar. Um, now, currently, the game just has these seven levels, um, and there is a custom mode as well, which I, I can't play with just yet. Um, but I believe that's where people can make their own music or 
put music into the game and create the maps, much like people do in Beat Saber. I could be wrong about that. I don't know a huge amount about it. But in terms of a campaign, seven missions at the moment. Now, if you're looking for like a workout game or just an alternative to Beat Saber, ah, uh, gun level, um, to Beat Saber or Pistol Whip, uh, this is a really nice one. And it looks lovely as well. Uh, this is so much better than the noir aesthetic they had. So you can shoot when you don't when you're not on time, but you don't get as many points. Like that. Hey! Oh, I didn't jump. Oh, bugger. Oh, my God. This music's great. go <laughs> yes thank you oh I screwed that up I screwed all that up it's alright we'll pull it back we'll pull some health back jump, jump. Bop, bop. now I think health just comes back in time another thing I'll say is Although you are on time to the beat in this game, it doesn't feel like you're as on time to the music as you are in something like, ooh, Pistol Whip. And I don't know if that's the Air Link doing that. But it doesn't feel like it's perfectly aligned with my actions, which is a shame. I'm trying to stand up. Oh. Ding. Oh, that got me. I could have sworn. Now, you don't need to chop those axes that they throw, but I just like doing it because it's cool. I probably wouldn't be dying as much if I wasn't trying to do that. Onto the wall. Bah, bah, bah. So sometimes it feels really in time with the music. But that doesn't quite. <laughs> but this does. Bah, bah. Yes. Oh, he got through. Come on, snake. Ah. Now, I don't know if there's a boss at the end of every level. I don't think I've finished this level. Wah. The bullets you have to chop in the right direction, otherwise it doesn't block them. Uh oh. I'm good. Oh. Up, up. Whoa. Very cool. Now that level feels probably the most repetitive, I'll say. Um, it feels like it's got kind of one section and that repeats three times. And it's the same section. Okay, this level is probably my favorite. Because it is a little bit more faster paced, I guess, than some of the other levels. And you get to use the knuckle dusters. Which I really appreciate. Ding! So I'd love to see more levels like this. This kind of tempo in this game. Because you'll see, when it picks up, you really feel like an action hero in this. Chop, 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 ding, ding, ding. Now, typically, I like the faster tempo stuff in Beat Saber and Pistol Whip anyway. Bah. Oh, love a bit. Yes. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. This bit's quite hard. You've got to watch out for the dudes with the guns. Here. 
Oh, really hard. Whew. I didn't think I was going to make that. Let's do this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Switch the sword without even realizing them. You have to kind of keep an eye on everything that's happening, not just the enemies that are in front of you, which is really difficult. Come on. Okay, ding, ding. Come on. Go. Yeah, see, this is when the game's at its best bit faster but again I think it is just one repeating section three times it's not one constantly varying level my quest Barry's low come on come on come on come on ba, ba, ba. yeah Oh. On the harder difficulties, I fully expect this to be a proper crazy workout. And when you get into the groove, it's really easy to predict where the enemy's attacks are coming from. Whoa! Ah, oh, bugger! I can shoot him. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Sword time. There's my plane. Come on, end. Oh, bugger. Come on, I'm so close. Come on. Come on! No way! Flipping hell! That's got to be the end, right? Oh! Oh my god! Sixth on the scoreboard, but I think there's only seven people on there, so I can't really, I can't really brag about that, can I? So yeah, this is against right now. I'm on Tails's plane from Sonic, um, and I think. I think it's pretty cool, like, content-wise, seven levels um, with three different difficulty levels to try them on. That'll keep you going for a little bit, but if they want this game to succeed, they're going to have to keep adding content and mixing it up because the stages do feel like they're repeating. Ooh. So it's kind of one sequence of events that repeats three or four times over the course of the level rather than it being one constantly changing level. But it does look really nice. And elements like that are really unique. The planes and the boss fighting. Whoa! And it is it's fun. I think if you want a good workout game, or just equivalent, or, or, or like a, an alternative, let's say, to Pistol Whip, or Beat Saber, or just something to add into the mix to throw in there with your daily Beat Saber or Pistol Whip routine, I think this is fine. I think the price point's going to be a real test. So it'll be interesting to see what it is. And as I say, they need to keep updating it and adding stuff. And it'll be interesting to see what the community can build with the custom maps. Oh, just use, just, just, just go crazy. Just go, go crazy. We've got Tommy guns. Doesn't matter. Don't worry about the pacing. There we go. Just shoot everyone. <laughs> so it is a bit mental. There isn't really... 
too much of a... Well, you, you barely get any points if you don't shoot on the beat, I guess. I was about to say, there's not really a downfall to doing that. But yeah, this is out on the 16th of December. Steam VR only to start with. I'm imagining at some point it will come to Quest. I like the new visual aesthetic. It is fun to play. It is a workout and will be on harder difficulties. And yeah, if you're a fan of action music games... Oh, what the flip? Then give it a go. Come check it out. This one comes from Joyway. What? What? Oh my god! And it is a lot of fun. Oh, this is a boss fight, isn't it? What? No! The boss fights are the best bit. Yeah, the best, best. Oh, definitely the best bit. Whew, so keep me on your toes. Oh, no! Oh, I'm so going to die. Oh, come on, come on. Dodge, dodge. Let's do this now. Scav it. <laughs> I said I'd only do two levels. Wee! My score's gonna be rubbish, but I don't care. <gasps> it's very cinematic. <sighs> Was that the level? Oh, I cheekily did a fourth level. Oh, well. It is... It is what it is. Yeah, come and check out Against. I think they're going in the right direction with this. I think changing the art style was a really good move. Um, it just remains to be seen whether these seven levels with three different difficulties will be enough for players at launch, depending on how much it costs. What's that price point going to be? And how much replayability and longevity is the custom maps going to add to the game? It all remains to be seen. This has been against a quick look at the game. Ooh, look, the effects are really nice. This looks really cool, and this little building is really nice, but you can't walk around in it. Uh, this has been against. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please do leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe. And I'll see you soon for another one. Take care of yourselves. See you later.